The Physics Aptitude Test, PAT, is a written test that all physics, engineering and material science applicants to Oxford University must sit. It consists of physics, maths and problem solving questions based on A-level maths and physics content. With an average score of about 50-60% to each year and only a minority of applicants achieving a place at Oxford, you'll wonder how to prepare as well as possible. Here are our top 10 tips from those who have won the numbers game for acing the PAT. Tip number one, start your preparations early. The PAT involves content from A-level maths and physics, some of which you probably won't have learned before. From PAT paths papers to virtual university admissions counselling, such as MedicMind, there are plenty of resources to work through. Therefore, what you should do is start preparing early. You'll have lots to do shortly before the exam, so don't make extra work for yourself at this time. Prepare in advance. Just think of it this way. Would you rather do one hour a day for 100 days or five hours a day for 20 days? Either way, you're doing the 100 hours, but if you start early, you can be more relaxed and take everything in instead of cramming it. We recommend starting well in advance, pacing yourself at first. Make sure that you know the syllabus and where to find past papers several months before. Then, roughly 12 weeks before, we recommend you start past paper questions, working on them for at least four dedicated hours per week. In the final two months, you should complete a fully timed past paper every week, along with your dedicated revision of the material. If you need other questions, as there are only a limited number of PAT papers, consider other resources recommended below. Tip number two, practice questions. You can prepare all you want by learning the topics, but the PAT consists of an application style of question. You'll need to be prepared for those questions. That's why if we could only pick one most important tip from this list, it would be to practice these exam style of questions. Fortunately, the Oxford University Physics Department has released annual past papers since 2006. There are also many other resources such as Isaac Physics and British Maths and Physics Olympiads, which have questions in a similar format. You can even look at the Cambridge Admissions Tests for Engineering and Natural Sciences. Those are the NGAA and the NSAA, if you need more questions. And you can never have too many. We recommend going through the solutions online and comparing yours to make sure that you have the correct answers and technique. Number three, read ahead in A-level physics and maths. Because the PAT is taken by applicants from a variety of backgrounds, not everyone will have been studying the same content and no one will have studied all of it. Therefore, a good way to get ahead of the curve is to learn any topics that you haven't done before. Don't worry about knowing everything. The PAT tests your intelligence, not your knowledge. But it's definitely important to discuss these ideas and topics with your teachers. They'll also likely be able to offer help, and better still, you could consider a personal tutor. More on that later. Number four, time yourself. The PAT takes two hours for 100 marks, working out to just over one minute per mark. Some will undoubtedly take less time and some more. Speed is one of the things that people struggle with the most, but it comes with practice. Before you take the PAT, you'll need to be practicing timed papers in exam conditions to know that you're really ready. But don't worry, you don't need to do that right away. Some students start by going through individual questions slowly before building up to full papers and finally introducing exam conditions. You don't need to be able to complete a full paper in two hours at first, so start by practicing individual questions without worrying about that timing component. Then try a full paper, taking as long as you need. After that, move on to timed papers. We recommend doing that about two months before the PAT. Tip number five, know the syllabus. The PAT syllabus, along with past papers and other useful resources, can be found on the Oxford University Physics Department website. It changes though year on year, and before it's been held online due to a pandemic that shan't be named. So be sure to check the most up-to-date syllabus to focus your work efficiently. Tip number six, consider a tutor. All of these tips will be easier if you have someone to help you who's been through the system and knows what works. According to Oxford University, only 35% of students do all of the work themselves with no help and very few schools offer Oxbridge-specific tutoring. Oxbridge Mind can connect students with tutors who are current Oxford students themselves. Oxford University doesn't release official solutions either, as they say they are multiple valid ways to solve a question. So being able to talk through questions and solutions with a tutor is invaluable. 
a tutor is the perfect way to get the most useful advice. As the adage goes, work smarter and not harder. Check out Oxbridge Minds PAT tutors today. So number seven, get into a routine. Getting everything done in time and staying motivated can be tricky, especially in the face of other commitments and difficulties. You should do what works for you, but we recommend having a routine and working little and often. The momentum will help keep you on track and set realistic targets. This will be particularly helpful once you clinch your admission and you're on your way to becoming an Oxbridge graduate. Tip number eight, make sure that you have the correct equipment. Similar to knowing the syllabus, know what equipment you're allowed. In previous years, the PAT has been moved online because of the pandemic. Now that means that certain types of calculators aren't allowed, however. Additionally, we recommend having a spare pen and pencil for every eventuality. These are simple things, but it's just one less thing that you'll need to worry about so that then you can focus on getting your best possible score. Tip number nine, revise your weak topics, not your strong ones. It's tempting to make life easier for yourself and just practice those questions where you know that you'll get it right, but you won't learn in that way. Keep track of what questions you're getting wrong and practice those topics. This is another area where it can be helpful to have a tutor, or at least to talk to your school teacher about it. Your tutor or teacher can help you with any topics that you're having trouble with. Counterintuitively, it may be in your best interest not to learn everything and actually to spend time on topics that come up more often, or at least ones you'll be able to gain the most marks from. It's often the case that enough context is given to the question to solve it even if it's a new topic, a skill that you'll need if you're invited to an interview. And finally, tip number 10, don't worry about your score. Fewer than 1% of applicants get more than 90% in the PAT. There is no predefined pass mark either. The PAT is meant to be used as a tool to select the best applicants, and there are a limited number of spaces on the Oxford University Physics course. You can find the number of successful applicants and the minimum mark to achieve an interview, an offer and entry into Oxford for physics for each year in the exam reports. If you follow all of these tips and do plenty of practice, you're sure to do as well as you possibly can. All that's left from us is to wish you the best of luck with your journey.